Do you cook with canola oil, soybean oil, or grapeseed oil? If you do, you need to stop right now, at least if you care about your health. Although these oils are often referred to as healthy alternatives to cooking with saturated fat, there's more to the story. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you three reasons why you should stop cooking with vegetable oil and what you should use instead. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos here on YouTube twice a week talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. For everything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that does it all. Head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate to start your free trial today. All right, so before we get into why you should stop cooking with vegetable oil, let's talk about what vegetable oil is because it's not as straightforward as you might think. Most of the oils that fall under the category of vegetable oils don't even come from vegetables at all. When we refer to vegetable oils, we are referring to plant oils that come from seeds high in polyunsaturated fat. Oils that fall under this category include canola, corn, soybean, grapeseed, sunflower, cottonseed, safflower, rice bran, and peanut oil. So when I refer to vegetable oils in this video, those are the oils I'm referring to. And before we get into it, I wanna hear from you what oil are you currently cooking with? Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, let's get into what is wrong with these oils. One of the biggest issues with them is that they are high in polyunsaturated fat. And I'm gonna tell you why that's an issue. There are three main types of fat, polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, and saturated. All foods that contain fat contain some combination of the three. The main difference for today's purposes is how these fats respond to heat, light, and oxygen. When fat reaches a certain temperature, it oxidizes. And consuming fat that has oxidized creates free radicals within your body. Free radicals are atoms that have one or more unpaired electron. These electrons go around trying to make themselves whole again by taking electrons from healthy cells. When they take electrons from other cells, this means those cells are now missing electrons and they turn into free radicals themselves. And this causes a chain reaction. And it is because of this that autoimmune conditions such as Hashimoto's, arthritis, and asthma have become so common. These are caused by free radical damage. Now back to the three main types of fat. Saturated fat is the most stable. It can withstand the most heat without oxidizing. Monounsaturated fat is slightly less stable and polyunsaturated fat is very unstable. Vegetable oils are high in polyunsaturated fat. So when we cook with them and when we heat them, they oxidize very easily. And this is the first reason you don't want to be cooking with vegetable oils. You don't want to be consuming them because they lead to free radical damage and eventually autoimmune conditions. And even if you're not using vegetable oils to cook, you still should be avoiding them. They are already heated to high temperatures during processing. So more often than not, when you buy them, they're already rancid. Do you ever wonder why they don't taste like anything and why they're such a neutral color? It is because they are stripped of their flavor and their color to hide the fact that they're rancid. Pretty gross, right? The second reason you don't want to be cooking with vegetable oils is because they are very high in omega-6 fatty acids, and these cause inflammation in the body. Both omega-6 and omega-3 are essential, but too much omega-6 can be a problem. That is because both of them use the same pathway in the body to be converted to their final form. High omega-6 in your diet, and that means that little omega-3 can be converted. You want to be consuming a ratio of the two of roughly one to one. Anything under four to one is considered good, but some of these oils are as high as 700 to one in favor of omega-6. 
in the case of grapeseed oil. Corn oil is 46 to 1 and soybean is 16 to 1. The average consumption for Americans is 21 to 1. And this leads to the average daily consumption for Americans being 20 to 1. Vegetable oils are the number one source of omega-6 in our diet. High omega-6 and low omega-3 cause inflammation. And if the two are always out of balance, you become chronically inflamed. Chronic inflammation is the root cause of almost all modern day diseases, including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and arthritis. And it can also lead to obesity and IBS. So if I haven't scared you off cooking with vegetable oil already, the third reason is probably the scariest. But just quickly, before we get to that, I'm going to take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for all of your online needs. Whether you run a business, are starting a side hustle, or need a website for personal use, Squarespace has everything you need all on one platform. Long gone are the days of having everything on separate platforms, your website, your mailing list, your scheduling tool. Squarespace combines them all. Not only is Squarespace practical and easy to use, it also allows you to create a clean and professional website without needing any experience in web design. Their award-winning templates are customizable, and with only a few clicks, you can have the website of your dreams that aligns with your brand. When you start a free trial, you don't have to enter your credit card details or anything. You can build your website, and when you love Squarespace and you decide to launch, make sure to use code HEALTHCOACHKATE to save 10% off your order. To check them out, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so the final reason you want to stop cooking with vegetable oils. Because of the way vegetable oils are processed, trans fat is created. And I'm not even talking about where trans fats are added on purpose to make products more shelf stable. This has become a lot less common since the severe risks of trans fat became well known. The chemicals and the heat that these oils are exposed to during processing unintentionally leads to the creation of trans fat. And the scary thing is, is that if there is less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serve, it can be written as zero grams on a label. And of course, a serve of vegetable oil is usually a tablespoon or less. And even though it may seem like this is a trace amount, any amount of trans fat is too much. For every 2% increase of trans fat in your diet, your risk of heart disease is nearly doubled. So if vegetable oils are so bad, what should we be cooking with instead? Oils that are high in monounsaturated fat and saturated fat are better options. These types of fat are easily extracted from the plant or animal they come from and are more heat stable as we spoke about earlier. Think of what it takes to get the oil out of an olive versus a corn kernel. The olive you can literally squish with your hand and the oil's released and the corn kernel requires a lot more processing. So anything that is easier to extract is going to be a better option for cooking. Saturated fat is the best option for high temperature cooking. So these are things such as coconut oil, tallow, ghee, lard and duck fat are also good. Anything that's solid at room temperature is going to be the best option for cooking. Monounsaturated fats are better options for low temperature cooking. So these are olive oil, avocado oil, and macadamia nut oil. So ditch the vegetable oils and use these ones instead. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite oil is to use for cooking. Have you been using vegetable oils thinking they're a healthier option? Let me know down below. And before you go, remember to check out Squarespace. The link is gonna be in the description box down below. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on what causes skin tags and how you can get rid of them for good. You can check that out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find that here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my insulin resistance masterclass and my seven day keto start program, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.